Good morning, guys. Please take a seat. All right. Today we will talk about the nerve impulse and its transmission. When a neuron is in the resting phase, at the two sides of its plasma membrane, there is a potential difference, which becomes negative inside and positive outside of the plasma membrane. This difference is called resting potential, measuring about minus 70 mV and is due to an asymmetric distribution of the ions at the two sides of the membrane. To maintain this potential difference are provided some protein structures embedded in the thickness of the cell membrane that are the sodium-potassium pump, potassium channels, sodium channels. The sodium-potassium pump actively transports three sodium ions outside and two potassium ions inside. The sodium channels are closed while those of potassium are open so that the potassium ions just entered can exit again by diffusion. This phenomenon creates a greater accumulation of positive charges outside rather than inside. A stimulus causes a rapid depolarization of the cell membrane. If this stimulus is sufficient to bring the inner surface of the cell to minus 50 mV threshold value, sodium channels are rapidly opened, leaving the same to pass inside. This flow of ions depolarizes the membrane that assumes a locally reversed polarity, positive on the inner side and negative on the outer side. The phenomenon thus generated is called action potential. It causes a local flow of electric current that will propagate in the adjacent regions. This generates the nerve impulse that runs along the axon throughout its length. The nerve impulse follows the law of all or nothing that is always the same, no matter how strong or weak is the stimulus that triggers it. The transfer of nerve information from a neuron to another or to an effector, a gland or a muscle, occurs through the synapses. A space separates the presynaptic neuron from the postsynaptic or by an effector. When a nerve impulse reaches the presynaptic membrane, it depolarizes. This causes the opening of calcium channels so calcium ions diffuse inside the presynaptic termination, causing the release in the synaptic space of the acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter content in vesicles. Acetylcholine will bind with specific receptors present on the postsynaptic membrane. This will generate a potential action that propagates the impulse to the postsynaptic neuron over an effector. Subsequently, the neurotransmitter is reabsorbed by the presynaptic neuron. All right, guys, the lesson is finished. Valeria, I've seen you a little bit distracted today. No, I was following. It was a dream. All right, fine. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.